Oh, it's been a second. We've all recovered from college and trying to do 50 dream dates to the point until our dog died. So I think it's time to go back to this house, this cursed house. I can't believe there's only three of them. It feels like I've been playing a house of like eight. Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. We're back at the house now that I've had some time to heal after the absolute hell that was speedrunning Grizabella's college years and also speedrunning dream dates for our founder, Ramses. Oh my God, I'm fucked. I am, this is gonna, oh my God, this is gonna fuck me up if we lose time. Oh my God, God, we're gonna lose it. What a fucking waste. Ah! Get us some groceries, please. I'm playing like primarily in three speed right now because I'm just like wanting to get this over with. Then we can finally end this episode. It was just kind of a grind the whole time, wasn't it? You know, I don't even have plans this time. I learned last few episodes setting out with a goal leads to your dog dying without you seeing it. So I think this today, we're just going to see where the episode takes us. Um, Grizabella, last episode, has finished her college years. She graduated with a 4.0 um, and now has a degree. Do we have a record of that anywhere on her person? Do I have? Oh, look, she has a memory of having a horrible graduation party. She graduated with honors, summa cum laude, however the fuck you pronounce that. Um, she got her degree in theater, but uh, yeah. Oh my God, so much is happening. I'm trying to do my intro. The work day feels long and no one seems to be working well. <laughs> you can say that again. A coworker suggests a mid work five minute dance party and several people join um, dancing with no music playing. Should Sierra join the spontaneous idea or remain seated and say in case it's a mis miserable failure? Oh my God, like me reading right now. Um, I think she should just stay seated because I'm over this. The current dancers just look silly and dancing isn't going to make people work harder. No, not only does Sierra stay seated, she bets another coworker that this idea is going to fail. After several minutes of only a few people dancing, the dance break is called off and Sierra pockets a small sum for winning the bet. Wow. Okay, so that's how we're starting the episode. Um, oh, was the small sum $20,000? Why do we have $23,000 in our pocket? Where did that come from? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to have to roll tapes because when did this happen? That's insane. We'll see where life takes us today. I really appreciate Amber filling in that hole, the last hole that Bandit will have ever dug on our lawn. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So the first thing I feel like we need to do is Grizabella needs a job. Uh, she came back, she's unemployed. What the fuck was that? What? The Repo Man is here? Why are you repairing? What? We have $23,000 in the bank. Who, what? Are you like, what? Did they not pay any bills while I was gone? Is this just something else that like fell to the wayside while I was fucking like doing those 50 dream dates? Let me tell you guys that sit like trying. Okay, he took the sink. That's fine. That's fine. It's not like we use the kitchen sink that often. We have a dishwasher. Is that really all he's going to take? Look at how the ass of his little coveralls is all worn out. What are you doing? A lot of sitting repo man. Oh my God. Is, is he going to take the toilet while she's actively shitting in it? Is that even possible? Oh no, it's probably something outside. Was it our ivy? That was probably like ivy on the side of the house. Okay, he really chose some stuff to take. Are you done with your dumb little helmet hair? Huh? Are you done, Mr. Repo Man? Get the fuck out of here. God, that's like our second Repo Man visit. And we have $23,000 in the bank. I'm not sure how that happened. Well, actually I do, I do know how that happened. And I could have told you guys if The Sims wasn't hellbent on interrupting my intro today. <laughs> What I was trying to, is that Vassal? Is he still just, oh my God, is Vassal gonna steal our newspaper? Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm, I come back from a break off of The Sims and it gives me this like immediately upon opening up this freaking house. Holy shit. Okay, what I was trying to tell you guys <laughs> is that last episode, <laughs> fucking Grizabella graduated college with honors as a theater major. This is because she wants to become a world-class ballerina. She 
is the next in line to take over the Astro Legacy family as our Capricorn offspring. And the episode before that, <laughs> Ramses and Sierra drove me insane as I tried to finish Ramses's 50 dream date lifetime goal. So now we're back at the house. Um, we're, we've moved back in. I'm going to re-put together Grizabella's home and we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, as you can see, we're about a little bit halfway um, gone in Ramses's like life meter here. But I guess this could happen literally at any moment she can be killed because I think that's what happened with Bandit. I feel like Bandit was about the same like ways aged as, um, so much stuff is popping up as I'm trying to say this. <laughs> um, I felt like Bandit was about the same amount of age as um, Ramses was in her age meter. She turned elder even a little bit later than Ramses. But I mean, I guess it's crazy to think that a sim dog would... Oh, cool. Sierra got promoted. Um, that a sim dog would uh, outlive the sim adults that adopted her. Oh my god. I, okay, first of all. And look, she's delivering a fucking rose. Yeah, so I think what we're seeing is the butterfly earthquake effects of the 50 dream dates that I had to endure um, two episodes ago. Basically what happened was I was so fixated on trying to get the 50 dream dates finished that not only did our dog die, but I guess I missed many times of playing the bills to the point of the repo man coming. And then we took a break. Grizabella went to college. Now she's back. So now we're going to just like try our best to still get Sierra to level 10 of the military career, which is her lifetime goal. We may or may not do some dream dates. I just hate it so much, but if there's nothing else to do, I guess we'll do it. And we're gonna be looking out for the dancer career track for Grizabella. I, my personal rule for like us officially entering the Capricorn generation is gonna be our Aries founder dying. So that hasn't happened yet. So we are technically still in the Aries generation till the day that Ramses kicks the bucket. Um, and I think I'm going to start since I guess we inexplicably have so much money. I'm going to start by doing her room because we came back with all of her furniture. Um, and Grisabella brought home quite a bit with her from college as well. Oh, here we go. Here's our diploma, though. I'm sure like you can't actually read it in the game. But yeah, she got she graduated. Can't you tell? Can't you read that? Uh, she graduated with honors as a theater student um, from Sim something academy i can't remember what it's called now okay so i'm going to put her her objects back in her room i guess we never took a chance to talk about like aries that are cool or like aries that we like what we like about aries as a sign while in ramses's uh generation and like i wanted to point out a couple of aries that i love and why i love them and one Aries that I'd like to uh, spotlight first, confirmed Aries, is um, Sora, our very own Kingdom Hearts' Sora, which if you watch the channel on Wednesdays, uh, you can you can see Sora in his full glory every Wednesday on Hand Drawn TV with me and our my co-host, my Capricorn co-host, Seth. I think that Sora is extremely Aries. Oh, I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart. My friends are my power. I also wanted to spotlight Sailor Mars, the hottest Aries. <laughs> and uh, Daffy Duck, who is also an Aries, and I feel like you wouldn't expect him to be. Two of my favorite housewives, like a few of my favorite housewives are Aries. They usually say the funniest things. Uh, Vicki Gunvalson. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, and that's why life is so precious to me, because yeah. we're all gonna die, and I don't know when it's gonna happen. If I died right now, you guys, I want you all to know, you tell everybody that she died sad. She died sad? Um, Shannon Storms Bedor. Okay, Doing I'm, a forensic I'm done. I'm done. scientist. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. done. I'm done. I'm done. Are we taking this? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm Jennifer Aiden. Aiden. Jennifer Aiden. Jealous much? Looks like a monkey's asshole. Yes, a monkey's asshole. That you f***ing suck, probably. Oh, and Gone Freaks. I mean, they're such protagonists, energy. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. When I was reading that Gone Freaks was also an Aries, I was like, oh my God. They're like, that's what I enjoy about them. They are like so heroic and like such protagonist energy. And like, um, in such an innocent way, you always know what an Aries is thinking or feeling. And they're so passionate. 
So just a couple things to appreciate about Aries, because at some point, hopefully, I'm like praying to God today. I am praying that hopefully the Aries of our Astro Legacy Challenge is going to die. And so I wanted to make sure to appreciate uh, what we had before we lose her. And I think that there's a lot to appreciate. Aha! About, about Aries. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Basically what I ended up doing <laughs> is not great. I'm sure you guys are gonna hate it, but I went ahead and I, I put all of her activities in here. I feel like Isabella is the type of person who likes to spend a lot of time in her room. And as long as she's not the master of the house, I feel like she's not gonna feel super comfortable hanging out in the main area doing her activities. She might be a little more comfortable holed up in her room. So I went ahead and got her ensuite bathroom. I gave her a shower because I feel like that's more, whoop, that's more Grizabella. Her parents obviously love the bubble bath, but I think that Grizabella is more like, get me in, get me out, shower me off. So I got her a nice shower. I put a plant in there too, to make it a little, a little less, I don't know, just to make it a little nicer looking. Um, I made a little ag activity sort of area. I'm sure y'all hate this, but <laughs> I figured this kind of looks like a little gaming chair. I'm still doing sort of like a black and blue kind of thing. I think that uh, this will be a nice little Grizabella cave until um, the Aries and Leo in the house pass and she can take over the whole area. For now, let's just play a little bit. I'm, I'm tired <laughs> and I kind of, oh wait, we need a new kitchen sink, hold on. <laughs> I feel like it would be nice to kind of redo some of the house, but I don't really want to do it right this second. I can't believe we fell behind on the bills, um, but I guess the bills have now been paid, I'm hoping. In fact, you know what, Sierra, make yourself useful. Dispose some of these old muddy trees that we don't need anymore. Grizabella's over here like serving a garden salad for the group. This is gonna be weird. Grizabella's an adult now, fed up with her parents' shit. She's got six want boxes because she finished college and um, Phoebe Adams, the infallibly good witch, is wondering why Sierra hasn't called her in a while. Yeah, I'm like coming back and like reacquainting myself with the wants of the two more boring sims of this family. Just waiting for them to die. So we haven't gotten Grizabella a job yet. So in the meantime, let's get her prepped. Let's get her prepped for this job um, by having her work out a little bit. That was one, one blind spot in Grizabella's college education as a theater major, whereas she wants to be a ballet dancer, is that she really needs to get some body skill points. We can look ahead at Ramsey's. Yeah, you can see Ramsey's had to get up to like level eight in her tap dancer career. So I think it's important that we get Grizabella's body skill up a little bit more. It's still a little low. So hopefully once she gets into the ballet career, she will just rocket up the ladder. I love her little soccer clothes. I haven't taken a look yet at Grizabella's new like wardrobe now that she's aged up, but I am happy that she figured out that the high ponytail works for her weird severe face. Okay, let's see, what is Sierra doing now? Playing the fiddle, why am I not surprised? Um, let's check where she's at. She's at counterintelligence. I've decided to stop like refusing to look up some of these things because I'm obviously leading myself to ruin by doing a blind playthrough of The Sims 2. That we're halfway there. We're halfway there, living on a prayer. Hopefully, yeah, cause she's what, 59 days old, barely a third into her old age life stage. She's got a chance, she's got a fighting chance. Her skills are still there, her friends are still there. We might just be able to pull out one lifetime goal out of these two old farts. You're just gonna sit there? She literally just decided to sit in this chair and just stare. And I mean, like, I get it mood but oh ramsey's just got fit good for her i was worried she was dying well i was worried but also like half excited that maybe she was dying oh i guess i should look at everyone's needs too it looks like she's really tired as well repo man repo man two repo mans in a row oh yeah he took the IV and he took the sink it's true grizabella grew up well grizabella graduated with honors she made the dean's list over and over and over again she went to college She's got some good memories here. Oh, I could have just checked her memories. I'm sure like people commented that I could have just checked her memories for dream dates. Now I know. I can check Ramsey's chain of memories for how many dream dates she's had. Oh, well, if I have, an, I have a record of changing aspiration, then we've got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dream dates under the belt. Okay, what is Sierra doing? She is just sitting out in the hot tub, talking to Vassal? 
<laughs> Whatever. You're hanging out with... <laughs> don't you... And does anyone else... Uh, you know, that feeling when your mom is hanging out in the hot tub with your college ex at, like, fucking... I don't... 21 o'clock. Because I still can't read that 24-hour clock. <laughs> Sierra's so weird. And uh, two Leos, too. Are they both nude? Yeah, yeah, they are. Two Leos in the hot tub trying to wreck Grizabella's life. Can we all remember how Vassal in college moved in with us, glitched out immediately, just made, take it, took himself completely out of the running for Grizabella's possible spouse, and then like revealed to me that he also secretly had become very close best friends with some rando. And then, you know, I controlled him and told him to make out with her, but he did it so willingly. Betrayer. But yeah, he's talking about how Grizabella's on the Dean's list. Or he's on the Dean's list. I don't think he's on the Dean's list. We know that he made C's in college. She's just talking about her various dream dates. They're both talking about dream dates. These Leos can just, you know, sit naked in the hot tub and die for all I care. Meanwhile, poor fucking Ramses who doesn't deserve this. <laughs> I kind of want to give Ramses another- Yeah, she doesn't like the hot tub. Yeah, you know what? I don't like anyone in that hot tub either, Ramses. You're totally valid. Uh, this- You know what? The rest of Ramsey's life is going to be about Ramsey's. It's no more. We're not going to worry about Sierra anymore. We're not going to worry about our dead dog. We're not going to worry about Grizabella till it's time for Grizabella's turn in the spotlight. This is an episode dedicated to Ramsey's. And they sat there talking all fucking night. Uh, just about college, too. Sierra didn't even go to college. God, what a poser. Okay, what do you want, Ramsey's? Ramsey's still wants to throw a party. It's too early. Yeah, uh, you know, I would say 2 a.m. is the time for you to go, Vassal. <laughs> God. She wants to dance with someone. She wants to ask a sim on a date, unfortunately. Just, you know what? Yeah, she can't even go back to sleep. Okay, fine. Yeah, just do ballet until the morning time, I guess. God. Immediately reminding me why I don't like to play Ramses. This is an episode dedicated to Ramses. Meanwhile, Grizabella has woken up and she is playing some SSX, what she does best. Wait, before you do that, please look at the job listings, Jesus. Journalism, dance, there we go. Wow, hold on, are you guys seeing this? She can start as a tap dancer, which I think is like way the fuck up the ladder. Okay, so she needs some charisma points, some body skill points, and then she'll be there. Let's have her fucking like practice on the ballet bar with her mom right now. What a way for them to bond. You know what might be cute? If we make a little dance studio room in the house, since we've got two dancers in the house, her doing her dance exercises with this soccer outfit is cracking me up. I think the whole, oh, well, I didn't realize Sierra went to work. Are you telling me Sierra stayed up until 2 a.m. in the hot tub with Vassal and then like went to sleep for an hour and then went to work while I was trying to log into my Google Drive? God. <laughs> okay, whatever. So I'm thinking when Sierra gets back, let's finally, um, go buy clothes. Something that I have threatened for this household to do since the beginning of this series, I think. Uh, because everyone's outfits is stupid. Yeah, tap dancer is seven. That is so awesome. So because Grizabella went to school, no, Sierra's not available to talk to you, freak. Uh, because Grizabella went to school, she was able to actually just jump on in at level seven of the dance career. So that means we only need to go up three levels before we achieve her lifetime goal, which is so much nicer and so much more progress than we've made on either of our founder or her spouse in the first generation of Aries, which I'm so sorry, Ramses. I'm so fucking sorry. Okay, so meanwhile, we've got Grizabella working on her ballet exercises. You see this like dress suit that she's wearing? She grew up in that. She's all business even though she needs to be a dancer. So I don't think that's a very good garb to be dancing in. Does not look like breathable fabric. Definitely looks like it's like woven or something, but I love this little bow here on her blouse. Oh my God, another one of these. Okay, the enemy has made recent headway with its latest attempt to crack the SimCity security systems database. Sierra has been assigned to launch targeted counterintelligence measures, but with the highly classified nature of all information within the agency, Sierra finds herself in the embarrassing position of not knowing exactly who the enemy is. She tosses a few subtle, this is, oh my God, this is a novel. She tosses a few subtle questions out while in the lunch line, but begins to get the distinct feeling that no one in the bureau has any idea who or what is they were fighting against. However, orders are orders. Sierra's going to have a, to come up with something. She could play new school, unleashing a horde of her newly coded double agent firewall replicator network probes. Holy shit. Or she could keep it old school and go with a barrage of wiretaps and traces. Let's do new school. I don't know what the hell. 
Sierra sees her chance to work out her new double agent network probes to sniff out the root of the problem. Of course, she has to disable a few system security checks to get the probes to work, but Sierra isn't worried. She can head off any intrusion at the pass herself. When Sierra's commander asks her to see a few minutes later, Sierra leaves her station unattended. Those disabled checks allowed some very malicious agents into the system, and they lost days of... Oh, classic. Oh, my God. She's out of a job. Oh, my God. Oh my god, yeah, you're telling me Sierra just got to level six, level five or something, and I would just two seconds ago said she's halfway there, we might just make it, and then she lost her job? You're telling me that? Yeah, you're telling me that. Okay, cool. Okay. Why don't I just crawl into an egg and die? That's cool. That's cool. And is she peeing herself right now on the front lawn? Yeah, you know, you deserve to be angry at yourself right now. You know how unintelligible... She's so upset, she needed to go take a shit immediately. I, 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 <laughs> that, that was so much gibberish in that, <laughs> I'm not even upset at myself. I don't feel like I needed to know better. I couldn't even read that. And you know what? I think that was God intervening and saying Sierra doesn't deserve to achieve her dreams. She deserves to be an unemployed housewife for the rest of her life. Because we have $22,000 in the bank and I am done with her. And we're, she's just going to be used to make those 50 dream dates. Grizabella, did you burn your pancakes? I'm so sorry, Grizabella. Oh, man. Okay, well, this bodes well for this trip. But how about... Yeah, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears, Sierra. I think we should all go on an outing together to get clothes first and foremost. So let's go do that. We're going to go to... The clothing store desperate deals because we're a desperate family i'm numb i'm numb to the bad situations that keep occurring with ramses and sierra i had healed my brain was healed and then I just immediately i was assaulted with this and i can't believe i i'm in shock i think i'm going through the five stages of grief right now with uh, sierra and her losing her job in one fell swoop like that you know how fucking hard we worked on sierra's career in this fucking household you guys know it. You were there with me. You've endured it. I can't take it anymore. All right. We've landed here at the Desperate Deals clothing store. And I'm hoping to at least give these gals a bit of a makeover so that I can forget about their failures. So let's everybody line up to go buy some new everyday clothes. And maybe even scout ourselves out for some sort of rich guy. that For, for Grizabella. That's another thing we're trying to accomplish here. All right, so who do we have first? I can't tell who they are from the model. It's either Ramses or Sierra. It's probably Sierra because of the ponytail. So let's, we're having Sierra in mind here. Sierra just lost her job. I need something that says like, I'm a Leo who's been struck by lightning, who went through one entire job ladder only to fail at everything. This is a cute dress. <laughs> But I don't think it says Sierra is the problem. Um, I need something that says, see, I'm Sierra. <laughs> and what? Oh, this says I'm Sierra. Oh, my God. Yes. I think I threatened this in one of the previous episodes that I was just going to let Sierra go full thought. First of all, I'd like to say it is elder abuse that these are the only pants options that elders get. High-waisted everything and then like a full out, not even like a midi dress, but like a maxi full length denim skirt. Let's do this. This says, I have been struck by lightning. For some reason, I have a tattoo now. I've seen it all, and I'm a genie in a bottle. If you rub me the right way, maybe I will die and give Hannah a break. This, I don't even know who this is. This must be Ramses, I guess. I, I don't even fucking know. Okay, for Ramses, I feel like she... I'm going to give her something that says, I've been through the hero's journey. I'm Ramses. Hear me roar. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, like, Ramses needs something that says, like, I thought I was marrying a good woman and then she cheated on me when my only goal in life was to have 50 dates with that good woman. And now my life is a mess, but I really love ballet. What about this? That's spunky. Let's do it. And then Grizabella, first of all, Grizabella, come out here and scope the room and see if we can find a rich man. Because that's one of Grizabella's goals is to marry a rich sim. She also wants to purchase a community lot, which I love. Okay, scope the room, girl. Anyone hot in here? Bringing back memories of college right now. Sierra immediately is like, Jessica Peterson is hot. Okay, she thinks Don Akumura is hot? Let's greet him and see if he has money or not. I realized um, one of the last episodes that you can ask them about 
how much money they make um, or something like that. How much money do you have? So we are going to be, this is going to be a little different than when Ramses was um, partner hunting, though of course our our partner hunting skills for Ramses were obviously defective. But uh, with Ramses, we like ended up marrying our best friend, um, which I thought was actually very, um, very Aries of her. Very like, let me pick a ride or die. Oh shit, hold on. He has, see, I'm wondering if it's like there are multiple monies um, depending on how rich they are. So I'm gonna like greet some other people and ask them and see if we see one that does more than one of those little money signs. There's so much going on right now. Okay, go ahead and buy some new clothes as well, see, uh, Grisabella. I might just have her still be in a leotard even as an adult, let's see. Unless there's some good like ballet outfits in adulthood. I feel like just being in her leotard already means she never has to dress out for work and she's showing off her goods so that she can get a rich man. Which, um, okay, I never completed that thought. Uh, Grisabella, <laughs> when it comes to hunting for a partner for Grisabella's generation, because she has rolled the wants and very, marry a rich sim, and I feel like that's very like Capricornian of her. Does she want to buy a vacation home too? That's funny. How much money do you have, Jeff Rutherford? That sounds like a rich name. Wow, oh my God, smart investing, which is one of the perks that Grisabella. Ooh, this guy's rich, this guy's rich. Okay, let's joke. Let's uh, bust a move. Let's try to hit on this man. Uh, once again though, uh, in our legacy challenge, our rules are that we can only date or, or like we can only marry or move in a sim that is a townie or an NPC. So if either of these people are pre-made sims, uh, we will not be able to see them as a potential mate. Um, Jeff Rutherford, I'm worried is probably a pre-made sim, but we'll see. Let me look him up real quick. He is a pre-made sim. So we can hit on him, but we cannot marry him. So he is out of the running. Okay, did everyone get their clothes? Oh my god. Jeff Rutherford and Jessica Peterson are fighting now. <gasps> oh my god, they're fighting so much. Even this old lady Laura is, like, thinking they're hot. They're so angry! They can't take, an, a, like, enough of a break from fighting. Oh, while we're here, let's go ahead and do a date, too. I can't get Grisabella to stop browsing this vending machine long enough to keep hitting on this rich man who's crying, who I think keeps getting in fights with his own wife here. <laughs> he is not taking it well. Oh my God, fuck you. Whatever, go cry some more about your wife. God, I already, I'm already hating this. <laughs> what is Grisabella up to? She's still looking at the, the vending machines. Oh my God. Oh my God. They finally couldn't take it anymore. They're fighting. Oh my God. You guys are distracting from our dream date. Stop watching the fight. Like it's entertaining, but we have a dream date to try to do here. Cause I foolishly tried to get this going. Make out while they're fighting in the background. <laughs> this is how you know we're back in another episode of our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. Oh shit, Jessica. Wow. Get him their enemies now. Oh my god. What do you bet they were? Oh, let's see. I, I'm actually curious because I did pull up the article of that dude. What? Who? How do they know each other? I feel like I'm watching celebrities fight right now. Wow. I don't even know if he had anything to do with her. I already forgot what that girl's name was. Jessica? Something? Is she, did she leave? Did anyone get to know her before she left? She, wow. Sierra knows too many people. There she is, Jessica Peterson. She was once the wife of Armand de Bateau before he broke up with her after she was found in an affair with a mystery sim. Okay, I think it's time for us. Oh my God, I forgot about this date that we're doing. Holy shit, okay, hold on. We have to try. Like we've so just soured the idea of going on dates at this point. And also I guess she's, you know, in a bad mood, but still like they barely like even get wants to be with each other anymore on a date. It's insane. Okay, everyone, you know what? Fuck this. God, God, I hate this so much. It's like such a mess. Will y'all just like kiss until this goes up to dream date, please? I think I learned last time that that doesn't work, but we can try. Stop, just go home. This is a waste of another date, unfortunately. I can't believe it. This episode, once again, is gonna be defined by a huge fuck up, which was Sierra losing her job. I feel like that's the only thing that's happened this episode. <laughs> we bought new clothes. We finally bought new clothes at least. Good God. Okay, well, she wants to throw a party, so let's let's throw a party before the end of this episode. I want this date to end. It somehow went up to great when they got home. 
Maybe we can, maybe we can save this yet? Nope, Ramses is gonna go to work. There's no way. And Grizabella keeps falling asleep in her fucking <laughs> food. Ugh, girl. And then there, yeah, it was just auto ended because of her work. And why does Vassal keep letting himself into our house? I don't understand. I'm a little confused by this. I thought he was in college. Vassal and Sierra are just like hanging all the time. I thought we were gonna throw a party. Uh, Ramses is back from work, I guess. Can we retire again? Because I don't understand the point of, I thought she lost her job. I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> What is it, 19 o'clock? Yeah, it's not too late to throw a party, right? Samantha Cordial, Jason Cleveland, Phoebe Adams. I don't know who else. <laughs> Vincent Gauthier, Justin Cleveland, Andy. No? Okay. Oh, now she's sick with the flu. I wonder how. Is it because Jason's here? Is it because Jason, with his perpetual flu, brought it back into the house? Sierra, what are you doing? Are you asleep? In Grizabella's bed? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm trying to make sense of what is going on right now. Vassal, why are you going to sleep? Why does every why is everyone sleeping in each other's bed? Why is Vassal even here? Vassal was not invited over. I don't know why he's here. But she needs to break up with Vassal. Anyone want to join Sierra? There we go. Okay, her she's she healed herself. Getting back in the groove of these Sims. Look at Ramses's legs. Those jeans just barely fit her. Pretty funny. But we, I missed Samantha Cordial. I have missed her. This is how you throw a party, everyone. You play catch with your best pal in the backyard. Yeah, the one thing I can say that Sierra helped the household with was making a ton of household friends. She is a natural popularity sim. She makes friends like the second she introduces herself, they're friends. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, poor Jason can't even work out on the ballet. Oh yeah, he can actually, never mind. Nothing can stop him from our ballet bar. Oh my god, Ramses, why are you sleeping in my bed? Is it because fucking Vassal is... <sighs> Ask Vassal to leave. I don't understand why Vassal thought he could just come in here and sleep in our bed. And why is Phoebe mad at Jason? What is going on? And in true Ramses fashion, she is going to sleep before the party ends. Good good job, Ramses. You're just, you're very consistent, at least. I feel like I wanted something more substantial to happen before leaving you guys today, but I'm not super sure if we're going to get that. <laughs> I miss Bandit. <laughs> I hate having to deal with these three. Not fun at all. Not fun at all. Let's give Sierra another makeover. I think Ramses and Sierra need one more makeover as we enter the last twilight years of their life. No, I kind of liked this hair for Sierra. I think that suited her. Let's just do that. <laughs> she still looks unrecognizable though, as an old lady. I don't <laughs> I don't know what happened to her. I'm gonna let her embrace her white hair now that she's older. I kind of like this. That's a little edgy. That's kind of fun. I've always liked this hair for Ramses. I think that's really fun. What if we brought back the, the hat that she used to have? You know what? I am gonna give her the hat she used to have. I like it, it's cute. And then, um, where, we need to give them a wardrobe, I guess. Okay, plan your everyday outfit now that we bought those new clothes too. Yeah, look at that low, that deep V-neck. Look at her. She's got the look. Woo, oh my God, wow. Ramses, you look really like something. That's great, you look good. And then can we do the same for Sierra real quick? What? Who, who bought that shirt? Oh my god, are you ta ah! Did she buy it? Did we just not get the top? Where's the top of that outfit that we bought? Why does she have so many outfits? Did she get... What is going on? This whole episode has been really confusing for me. Everyone just go to sleep. You know what? I think this has been a confusing episode. We got money from nowhere. Sierra lost her job. We bought everyone new clothes, but they didn't seem to come home with them. There were fights. There was cheating, I guess. Grizabella found her job and jumped in at level seven. Sierra lost hers. We need to get Ramses to quit hers. I want to redo the house. I don't even know. I think we'll have to tune in next time because I'm already at time. Yeah, as desperately as I want to do something else before the end of the episode, I think that this might be where we have to leave you today. That was extremely confusing. Sorry if you're just as confused as I am today. Um, 
And I think that we should all just take a little cue from uh, Ramses and Sierra and just go to sleep. So I guess next episode, this is what I get for not, you know, setting a goal for the episode, trying to recover from the times that I set goals. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm hoping that we'll lead Ramses to her death as well as Sierra and then finally let Grizabella take over the house and we can redo the house from there. Um, but <laughs> we were unable to do any of that stuff today. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>